Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. I'm Joe Venorni. Uh, Sweetwater is coming out in theaters April 14th. It's a fantastic new sports biopic about Hall of Famer Nat Sweetwater Clifton, who made history as the first African-American to sign an NBA contract, forever changing how the game of basketball is played. Today, we're joined by one of the stars of uh, Sweetwater. He really needs no introduction. Princess Bride, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, Saw, the great Carrie Ellis. Carrie, welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. Thank you for having me, Joe. Uh, so you play uh, Nick's owner, Ned Irish, in Sweetwater. Uh, you kind of work behind the scenes uh, to get uh, uh, Nat Clifton signed uh, into the NBA. How familiar were you with the story of Nat Sweetwater Clifton before you signed on to this project? You know, I had no idea. Not at all. Um, uh even though I, 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 I spoke to a lot of people who, who, who are part of this project, and, and not a lot of them knew about it. Uh, so I'm always drawn to subject matters that I don't know about uh, that have social uh, or cultural or historical value to them. And this one seemed to check all those boxes. You know, here was a guy, as you, as you say, who, who was a pioneer who changed the game as we know it. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, information out there about the character you played, uh, Ned Irish. Right. Uh, it's my understanding, uh, there the, the had to be some behind the scenes research, uh, both from, uh, Martin, the director and, and, and you as well. Well, talk about, uh, what you did to learn about him and how did you get inside his head and kind of learn so, his motivations and what makes him tick? Uh, okay. So what, you know, there wasn't a lot of video footage of Ned. So I really had to draw on a lot of uh, interviews with his contemporaries and with his friends and even with people who weren't fond of Ned, yeah, to get an overall picture of who, who this guy was. And from what I could gather, he was very much a, a Damon Runyon-esque type guy, you know. In fact, they were contemporaries. And he, you know, he had a tough exterior, but a, a soft interior. And um, I think... The color that he was really interested in uh, was was less about breaking barriers and more about green, yeah? Because he started out as a promoter, and once he owned the, the garden and became president of the Knicks, it was all about making money, you know? I mean, he would rent out the garden for rodeos and dog shows and wrestling and boxing, but it was all about making money. And it wasn't really until he met Sweetwater that he realized that this guy was passionate about the game and understood the relevance of what he was, what he stood for and how he would change it. And I think that's really what, what changed Ned's mind. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, some amazing actors in this film that you're working with. Uh, let, let's kind of talk about them. Uh, Sweetwater is played by Everett Osborne. Uh, yeah, what can you yeah. tell us about him? He, he's not, not too many people are familiar with him now, but uh, that might change after this film. Talk oh, about I him. think and it will, Joe. Doing. This kid's amazing. I mean, truly, we were so blessed to get him because, uh, as I'm sure you know, finding an actor who can act and also play ball is 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 a rare thing and uh you know i always joke that if if uh, everett really wanted to go pro he could this guy never missed a shot i mean we would do numerous takes of him scoring and i i mean i think out of the entire time that i watched him he maybe missed two shots the entire shoot it was unbelievable the guy's unbelievable so to find that rare talent of somebody who can embody the character and play play basketball I mean, for us, it was a, a godsend because, you know, otherwise we would be using doubles and, 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 and trickery with the camera and all kinds of things. But you get to watch Everett really play. And the guy is extraordinary. And and he, he really embodies this character. I mean, he, he was just remarkable, as you can see in the film. He's just extraordinary. He's uh, kind of the unknown uh, newcomer uh, actor yeah. to, the, to the film. Uh, but you've got some... some uh... Big time people in here as well. You get to work alongside Richard Dreyfus yeah. and uh, Jeremy Piven's fantastic in this film. Yeah. Pollock, yeah, uh, what, what can you comment on uh, on these guys and getting to work? Well, with Kevin, them? I've known a long time, and Jeremy, that they're old friends. You know, character yeah. actors in Hollywood, we all at some point cross paths. Yeah, uh, Kevin, I've never worked with, but I I knew him socially. Uh, um, Jeremy, we did a picture together years ago called "Kiss the Girls." 
and uh, and and Richard, I've always wanted to work with. I mean, I, I, he he was a defining moment in my childhood in terms of wanting to become an actor. So I, I, I to get the call to come work with him, and the fact that I got to have great scenes with him was a, was a huge thrill for me because, like I said, he, he's an idol. I think I could speak for many actors when I say that. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun. We got to play around. And and Martin was very easy with that. And you know, even though he's had this project for 28 years, he wasn't, he, you know, he wasn't precious about it. He really hired the actors to allow them to play around and improvise and, and do our thing, you know. Well, the film is called Sweetwater. Uh, Carrie, it's been such a pleasure speaking to you. I've been a fan Thank of you for, for decades, uh, ever since uh, I saw you in The Princess Bride so many, many years ago. Uh, the film is called Sweetwater. We can catch it in theaters uh, April 14th. Carrie Ellis, thanks for chatting with us today on Cherry. Thank Beach. you, Joe. Thanks for having me. Take care. This ain't about the color of my skin. It's about being true to the game of basketball. Nathaniel Clifton. Always know you was born with a higher purpose. Joe Lapchick. Matt Clifton. Some call me Sweetwater. I coach a team called the New York Knickerbockers. Ain't no Negroes playing your league. It's not gonna be like that forever. The NBA champs got their asses kicked by an all Negro team. Front is, it's like a circus though. It's Ringling Bros. Sweetwater knows this game better than anyone. I will fight for this. I want to fight with you. Sweetwater, that was your last game wearing a Trotter uniform. Your next game will be in a Nick jersey. You know you can't play him. The guy is the future of the NBA. Change is happening. But I don't know that my city can take it. This ain't about the color of my skin. You need to move away from my lily white pumps. It's about being true to the game of basketball. It's unnecessary to have all this razzle-dazzle on our courts. And that's what the Negro players will do. But every time we step on this court, it means something. You ready to change the game? Oh, I was born ready.